How's it everyone? So I've started using Bevy and Rust. Basically, I'm, I've just started learning Rust a few weeks ago. And I thought, why not use Bevy, have a little a play around with what's kind of available within that framework. Uh, and yeah, just have a gander. So I spent a couple of hours last night, maybe a little bit longer, just playing around. And I came up with something that I thought was kind of cool so let me demo that just quickly for you um, so if I go and cargo run that bad boy basically what this is doing is it's loading in an image and creating you could call them entities that are the various pixels within that image or represent the various pixels of that image uh, you can then move around those entities and form or reform or destruct an image accordingly. So as you just saw, I kind of form the image using these pixels that kind of flow together to kind of form this image. Um, another demonstration of that is when I move the mouse, I coded this up such that uh, basically the pixels around the mouse fly away from the mouse and then come back slowly. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I guess a major part of why I wanted to do this was transparent windows. And this kind of stuff looks so cool when you can see behind the image. So, you know, typically you would have an application here and it might have some kind of background. And so if you had to do something like this that you thought was kind of cool, well, you'd only just see the background behind it and it wouldn't be that interesting. But here you can see the background behind the window itself. Uh, effectively seeing anything that's uh, available on the desktop usually uh, so you can kind of yeah just uh, just creates a, a pretty unique feel to any application that you create so I thought this was pretty cool uh, quite fun like I say only using Bevy for a couple of hours or maybe a little bit longer I was able to work this out kind of by hacking together a bit of code and seeing what happened. Um, and I'll come on to a couple of examples that, that would help you set up something similar. But one other additional thing that I added in for fun was, well, if you press spacebar, the image kind of explodes out and then fades away. Thought that was pretty cool. Anywho, the example that I thought was very helpful, if you go to the main examples, uh, area for bevy uh in the in the repository and then click on the uh window area and then click on the transparent window area and you will find uh some very simple code not many lines of code at all that allows you to set up a transparent window if you load in an image you will be able to see around that image within the kind of the window area. And if that image has alpha channels uh, with a kind of a value less than one, you'd actually be able to see behind the image in those areas. Uh, so basically you could create some, some pretty cool um, kind of combinations of your image or whatever it is and being able to see the background behind that window or image in, the, in that case. And hopefully the... The thing that I just demonstrated gives you an exact feel for that. So I'll just run it again. You'll see that image kind of floats in all the various particles of that image. They come together and I thought that looked pretty cool. Anyway, that's just playing around with Bevy for a while, a little while and very limited experience with Rust. So Hopefully that should give you some confidence to be able to try this out and, and have a bit of, yeah, just a bit of fun playing around with the, uh, with the framework. Alrighty. Well, until the next video, which hopefully I'll, I'll be kind of posting a little bit more frequently now that I've kind of got over this, uh, a few hurdles of kind of various things that I've kind of been playing around with and learning. Um, hopefully I'll be able to start posting a little bit more frequently from now. Um, but until then, have a good one and I'll catch you around.